In this video we are making hydrochloric acid gas by reaction of concentrated sulfuric acid this one has around 95% and kitchen salt. It, you can use any salt, it just has to be sodium chloride. For the first step take some drops of your concentrated sulfuric acid in a pipette so these are around 2 milliliters maybe and then stick it in a test tube like this and make sure that it, no air can pass through the hole and close your sulfuric acid bottle and then go on by the next step especially in this experiment it's absolutely necessary to wear those um, acid resistant gloves because sulfuric acid is highly corrosive and can destroy your skin and your, your hands. Of course you have to make sure to wear safety glasses too. After having put around one centimeter of salt in your test tube put back on your pipette with a concentrated sulfuric acid. Use a tube like this to make a airproof connection between your test tube and a water with your magnetic stirrer to make sure that the gas will go from here in the water. The magnetic stirrer is not absolutely necessary but it's a good thing to mix up the water with uh, hydrochloric acid later. So if you have one turn it on now and go on with the next step. Now put some pressure on your pipette so that the sulfuric acid will drop down on the salt and you will see that a gas is coming out of here and getting here in the water. It's an exothermic reaction so the test tube will turn a bit warm. This wasn't enough. Take some more salt or sulfuric acid and drop it down again. The reaction will go on and more hydrochloric acid will be produced. The pH meter which first showed a pH of around 7 now shows a pH of 2.6 because the hydrochloric gas in the water makes an acid solution. Apart from the hydrochloric acid there's also sodium sulfate produced with this reaction. Here you can see the chemical equation of this reaction. So sodium chloride and sulfuric acid makes hydrochloric acid and sodium sulfate. Now thanks for watching and please subscribe and comment.